Hi guys. Benil Dariush, a highly skilled UFC lightweight fighter, has been one of the most avoided opponents in the sport. Despite his exceptional abilities, top-ranked fighters were reluctant to face him. However, Dariush finally gets his chance to prove himself as he takes on former champion Charles Oliveira in a crucial lightweight bout at UFC 289. The winner of this fight could potentially earn a shot at champion Islam Makhachev in October. Dariush has been yearning for impactful fights against the best fighters in the division, fights that could solidify his legacy. It was frustrating for him to witness other fighters publicly expressing their willingness to take on anyone while he waited for opportunities. Despite voicing his frustrations to UFC officials, there was little assistance available since it ultimately takes two fighters to make a match happen. Every time Dariush proposed a certain fight, the response was often a quick dismissal, as the desired opponents had different preferences. The situation didn't make sense to Dariush and became a source of frustration. At the same time, the UFC suggested he fight promising up-and-coming fighters, which he agreed to, even if there were disagreements within his own team. This led him to face tough opponents like Mateusz Gamrat and Carlos Diego Ferreira, contributing to his current eight-belt winning streak. Dariush believes that some of his previous losses could have been avoided if he hadn't fought injured or prematurely. The period between March 2017 and March 2018 was particularly challenging for him, with two losses and a draw. He reflects on missed opportunities, including a potential fight with Khabib Nurmagomedov, whom he considers the best lightweight of all time. However, he takes responsibility for those outcomes, acknowledging that they have shaped him into the man he is today. A win against Oliveira would likely set Dariush up for a title shot against Makachev in Abu Dhabi. Despite the potential for fame and notoriety, Dariush remains focused on his priorities, his faith, family, and community. He hopes that success in his fighting career doesn't disrupt his desire for a quiet life and his commitment to providing for his loved ones and serving his community. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, bye.